I'm vlogging again. I'm vlogging again. Look, I'm actually I'm talking in my video. Haha! <laughs> you guys, you guys commented and you're like, oh, he's not talking in his video anymore. Here, here I am talking in my video. I had to do it. I'm having a lot of fun making those other kinds of videos, but today is a very, very special video. We hit 10,000 subscribers today, boys. 10,000. Wow. That's the first subscriber milestone that I've hit where I'm like, wow, that's actually a big number. And like, relatively speaking, there are much bigger YouTube channels, but 10,000. I feel like I've really accomplished something and thank you guys so much for helping me do it. But today, we are shifting our focus from the EG to the EK. Hello. <laughs> and I'll explain in a second why we're doing this, but I would like to fill you guys in on what we're doing today first. Since we hit 10,000 subscribers, I decided that I would treat myself. And since this is my daily and I drive it every day and it's not the prettiest car in the world and it's, it's not the fastest car, I figured that I would make my experience driving it better. So I went ahead and ordered some Scar Audio 6x9s and then I also got some 6.5s for the front doors. Since the time I bought this car until today, I've had one working speaker and it is the passenger door speaker and it's also blown. And I'm a person who absolutely loves music. I love audio quality. I, I just I just love to enjoy music. And it sounds so basic. I love music. I love music. Dude, everyone loves music. What am I talking about? Anyway, I'll have all four speakers working finally. And I might even get a sub in the future. Who knows? Depends on if I actually like this car after all this work that I do to it. So without any further ado, thank you for staying with me to this point in the video. Wait till the end to see a sound test of the new speakers and to hear about what's going on with the EG and the progress I've made on it so far because I've done a lot that you guys don't know about yet. I'm just, I'm working on something special for it. But all right, let's, uh, oh, I shaved my head by the way. But all right, we're gonna start with the rear. We're gonna start with the rear speakers and then we'll move on to the front ones and we'll be done. This should be really easy and the way that I'm gonna do it is really stupid, but it's just how I do it and it's easy. And that's why. Dog, you cannot block my shot. Just tell one mind though to stay hydrated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, whoa, whoa. Dude, you're blocking my shot. I'll let him see. All right, is there something missing here? No. All right, so as you can see, there are no speakers in here as of right now. And whoever did this last just snipped the old ones and just left the wiring. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna strip the wire I'm gonna slide some heat shrink over, and then I'm going to literally just solder these wires straight to the speaker terminal. Now, I've done this in the past. Like I said, it's not the uh, most professional way to do it, but it works, and uh, yeah, it works. I'm, I'm just gonna do it, I don't care. These are Scar Audio 6x9s. This exact model is the RPX69. I think after I test it. All right, let's see if she works. Wow, that actually bumped, dude. I wasn't even turning it up that loud, I don't think. <laughs> Guys, that sounded amazing. I, I'm so happy. I think I, I think I even have the bass turned all the way down in the head unit because it would distort so much on that blown passenger side speaker that I had to turn the bass all the way down to even be able to hear it. So that was with the bass all the way down, and it just sounded so nice. It was so good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of the speakers in, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys after. Take her out for a cruise, go test her out, and uh, talk about the 10K stuff. Talk, talk about the EG, talk about 10K. That's all it takes, just a dab. This. Catch on my neck on my arm. Okay, boys, we are finally done. The speakers are in, and I tested them ready. I'm not gonna lie to you, I tested them ready. They sound good. I gotta give you something. Oh, I forgot to close the trunk. Frick. I gotta give you a beat that is uncopyrighted. We are going to put on my brother, Big Dogs. We're going to listen to the song Betty White by Big Dogs. I'm also sweating like crazy right now. Here we go, so. Such 
an improvement. Not really as loud as I usually like speakers to be, but I think if I turn the bass down a little bit, I have the bass kind of cranked up, but I think if I turn the bass down a little bit, then I'll be able to turn them up a lot louder without them distorting. So with that being said, let's crank. Okay, everybody, today is the next day, and I've been driving around with these speakers for the last 24 hours or so. My final opinion about this system is that it would greatly benefit from a subwoofer. Now, fortunately, Scar Audio also sells a really budget 12 inch sub, it's like 50 bucks. They also sell a prefab enclosure for it and they sell an amp and a wiring kit. So you can get everything you need straight from Scar Audio. Again, not sponsored. I just know that a lot of you guys probably have questions. Overall, still a humongous improvement over only having one speaker in my passenger side door and it being blown. So I'm, I'm super happy with it. It sounds great for my, uh, for what I need right now and uh, it just makes the driving experience so much better in this vehicle. So like I said, at the end of this video, we would talk about the EG and also what the next video is gonna be on the EK. Here is the short block of the EG. It's right here, I have it, it's assembled. As you can see, there are, well, there are pistons in there. I've also already painted the short block. I've installed the oil pump, water pump, oil pickup, windage tray, oil pan, oil pan gasket. The short block is basically done. I'm waiting on a timing belt tensioner and the head, and that's about it. I have all these parts over here, check this out. You know, as you guys saw in a couple videos ago, the transmission's done and painted and ready to go. I have my ARP bolts and studs. Got the crank pulley ready to go. Got brake pads, I got a timing belt, I got brake rotors, I have a clutch, brake calipers ready to go, T brackets ready to go, I have a head gasket over there, I have all the other brackets and mounts ready to go, windshield wipers are painted. So like I have all these parts ready to go, but like I said, I'm literally just waiting on the head and some motor mounts. Once I have the head and some motor mounts, I can go ahead and put this thing together and put it in the car. I just haven't been able to get my hands on the head yet. It's at the machine shop and my guy is just super behind and uh, it's just due to COVID and he's just super busy with all the orders that are getting placed. I'm actually gonna call him right after I finish filming this video and touch base and see what's going on. But yeah, that's where the EG is at. He's real close, boys. All the stuff is pretty much lining up here. We just, just need the head. Okay, so that's what's going on with the EG. I'm excited to get that build back on track and I'm trying something new with the videos. Like you guys saw, I am not talking in those videos. Uh, a lot of you guys had questions. At first, I, 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 did, I wasn't going to explain myself on this, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of an explanation because I feel like I owe it to you. There are a lot of you now. I'm gonna do the rest of that build in that format where I don't talk. So if you wanna know what I'm talking about, you could watch the engine teardown video that I did a while back, or you could watch the brand new ECU VTEC conversion video that I just did like two weeks ago. I'm gonna be doing the rest of the EG build in that format. I have some really great ideas for it. The engine teardown video is one of my most successful videos in recent memory. It's doing really, really well, and it seems like people are finding that video a lot more, and they're really enjoying it, and it's getting recommended a lot on YouTube. I'm gonna do this video, like I'm doing right now, vlog format, and I'm gonna do the next video that will be uploaded, which will be the EK. I'm getting a new grill, I'm getting a new front lip, I'm having the bumper repainted, and I'm having a new fender put on and being repainted. I'll be putting all the parts on, but I'm having uh, Mako just do a cheap paint job on all of it, so it's all nice again. My bumper, here, check it out, check it out. My bumper is all scratched, it's all yucky. It's really, it's really in bad shape, you know, there's all this crap. The front end of that car is gonna look awesome. So that'll be in the next video. Hope you guys are excited for that. Like I said, that video will be this format, this style, but the rest of the EG build videos will be in a super satisfying, really quality audio format. I'm so excited about it, um, but just be ready for that. And if you are someone who is here because of this style of video and this is what you enjoy, just, just do me a favor, just give it a chance. Just be open-minded. I'm, I'm really enjoying making them. All right, that, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about in today's vlog. Once again, thank you guys for 10K. I'm gonna think about it. I might do some kind of 10K special or maybe I'll give away a hat or something or hat and a jet tag. Thank you guys again. It's seriously, this has been the biggest accomplishment on YouTube for me so far. And you know, 5K is cool, 2K is cool, 1K is cool, but like 10K is like the one where I'm like, actually feeling something. I'm like, wow, this is actually cool. So thank you guys. I've said it three times, four times already, but all right, here we go. I'm gonna do the outro now. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up. Also, if you like this video, please click that subscribe button. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. 
Bye. Love you.